Shook it up. Good afternoon, guys. So today I am doing a very different video from what I'd normally do. I'm not naked. I am in underwear because today I'm going to show you how I do my false tan. I am a paler than pale Irish girl. I've got Irish skin with freckles and doesn't tan that easily. Very pale, pasty, but I don't use false tan that often. But when I do, this is what I do. And I thought I'd share it with you because I'm sure there are a lot of girls out there who are just as pale and pasty as me. Um, and on occasion, you go to a wedding, you have an event, you want to look a bit more tanned and lustrous and it does make you look a little bit slimmer it makes you look a bit more toned because it's contouring you that's why they wear the really 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 dark tan on stage because it does accentuate the muscles so i'm here in my underwear because i'm going to show you what tan i use what method i use and a few other little tip bits tip tip bits not tip bits tip bits that i've picked up over the years from doing tan for different occasions and things so first of all i have got no jewelry on apart from my earrings which i'll probably take out later when i do my face i do a little bit on my face not a lot because it does tend to block your pores so i'll probably do the face at the end i'll clean off all my makeup and put a little bit on just to give me a little bit of a glow, but I don't like to put on too much. First things first, shave all that in the morning. I tend to do my tan in the evening and then sleep in it and then get up and rinse it off because it gives you at least eight hours for to sit. If you want a less dark tan, because the longer you leave it on, the more it develops. So if you want it a bit less dark, you can do it any time you want. If you feel comfortable walking around in false tan, I just don't, I don't, Pretty like the smell of them. The one I'm using today actually doesn't smell too bad. It has quite a mellow smell, so it's not as bad as a lot of ones. And that is part of the reason why I've chose this one to use today. I have been experimenting a lot with a variety of different hands over the years. And the one I'm using today surprised me. This is not a sponsored post at all. I have used other ones that I didn't like. And this one, I decided to give it a go and was very, very pleasantly surprised by how good it was. So that's why I'm sharing this video today because I'm not gonna do a video on how to fake tan when I don't particularly like the tan I'm using. That being said, I showered this morning, I shaved this morning. If you need to have another shower, do, but have a cool shower. You don't want to have open pores before you put on tan. You want to have them closed, so have a cold shower that's not gonna open up your pores. Try and be fragrance deodorant free. I tend to moisturize all the dry patches on my body. I'm simply going to use what I normally use, which is the Palmer's coconut oil formula. And I'm just gonna put it on the dry patches of my body. So definitely loads on my hands but I am going to protect my hands during the tanning process. Then I'm gonna do the elbows. Elbows. Definitely the wrists. Knees. These are all kind of like the dry areas of your body that you kind of get that patchy effect when you don't do it properly. And then the feet. The feet, I try to avoid putting tan on till the very end because I feel like your feet always come off like really I've got like umpa lumpa feet usually by then, but I think by putting on like, put a generous amount on and don't let any tan go on the soles of your feet because it just magnetizes and clings to it. So the tan I'm using is Bare by Vogue. I've opted for the Dark Mousse and it does have a, a guide color in it, which I really like. And the reason I decided to try this is number one, I've been following Vogue for a while and um, she's a fellow Irish woman who's married to an Englishman. So I'm kind of like, we're pretty much the same person. Vogue, if you're watching, can we just be best friends, please? And she has a dog and I have two dogs. She has a baby, I don't have one of them yet, but you know. So many similarities were practically like twins. So um, no, I follow Vogue and I really have a lot of respect for what she does. And I saw her developing this tan and all the work that went into it. And I like a lot of the ethos behind the tan as well. And I said, I'll give it a go. I was like, it could be crap. I don't know, but I'm gonna give it a go. And 
I was pleasantly surprised. It is like vegan friendly, not tests on animals, all that kind of jazz. So I gave it a go for a wedding I went to a couple of weeks ago. Turned out amazing. I let it wear off as well, which was one of the questions you get asked a lot about tan, about how does it wear off? And it, I did two layers of the tan and I did one one night, then the following night I did another layer so I kind of let it build up and I had like a really, really nice natural glow and I found that it wore off quite evenly. There was a little bit of scrubbing a week later just around my knees where, you know, dry patches, didn't want to leave it so I had a bath, it was gone. It wasn't that much of an issue. But apart from that, amazing, it lasted for a week. Like it lasted properly, I had a nice golden glow for a week. So I let myself just go au natural, I've got no tan on now just to show you guys. I tend not to tan over my tattoo because it can look a bit weird because I do have colour in my tattoo. So if you have tattoos and you want to put on tan, I tend to avoid it and just avoid that area in general and yeah, I just it looks weird when I put tan on my tattoo just for anyone who does have tattoos. If you've got like small tattoos, it'll be fine, but because I have quite a big piece and there's color in it, yeah, it looks a bit funny. So I tend to not tan my tattoo. I would recommend using a mitt. I just got this one on Amazon because it got a really good rating and um, it apparently doesn't leak because some of them, you have your mitt on, everything's going well, you take your hand out and all the tips of your fingers are tanned because um, yeah, it's come through the seams, but these seams are, like protected so i'm gonna give this a go i haven't used it before but i think this will work a bit better i always use it at tanning mitt and i also because i'm a bit anti the bad tan in your hands i use um surgical gloves as well you can get these on amazon i'm pretty sure i picked them up on amazon just for doing bodybuilding tan don't want that in your hands. I use this and then I do my hands at the very end and my hands are another process because you don't want your tan, the tan in your hands just like it collects and you don't want that. Another must have for doing your tan, makeup remover wipes. So if you get it on little bits like browns, the soles of your feet and things, I like to go over them with a makeup remover wipe just so you don't have those splodges on your feet or um, around your wrists and stuff. I just like trying to take it off a little bit. We're gonna start, we're gonna do this upper arm first. So two squidges and you can see it comes out. And because it has quite a nice guide color, like you can go out with this on because the guide color is nice as well. It's not like, like a shitty guide color. Apparently, this will not stain your clothes if you leave it to dry for 10-15 minutes. But well, I don't know how realistic that is, because I haven't tried it myself. But it did not come off on the clothes I was wearing. I was wearing um, a dress at the wedding and it didn't come off on the clothes I was wearing at the wedding. That's always a good sign. And I always protect my bed sheets when I'm doing false tan. I just protect my bed sheets from the tan. Now, I do my own back, but if you're lucky enough to have someone to help you, I just have a knack of it that I can do my own back. So this tanning mitt's quite good because it does have the two sides. And two switches, and we just start and work our way up. I'm just going to do one layer because I don't want it super dark because it's not for a wedding, it's just for the weekend. And I just don't want to be super pale. And having these on just protects your, prevents you from being a little bit, you know, generous with the tan, getting it, you know, all over your hands. Now I have tried other tans. The one I tried before this was skinny tan because it's meant to be one of those ones that you just put on and you can wear your clothes and, you know, it's like an oil kind of base, but my problem with skinny tan was, number one, there's no guide colour, so you can't see where it goes on, which leads to my other problem, which was that um, it went all streaky, because you can't see it going on. So for the tummy, I usually do like two squirts of the tanning lotion per area, so I call this an area, I did three squirts for the arm. 
Now, the area I find the most difficult to get even is my legs, because I feel like my legs are massive. And I do like to go over it a bit. And I will, I will do the full breasticles off camera, but I'm sparing you the pornography of that. And I'll do my full back off camera, but it will require me to be topless. So, you know, we don't want to get this censored by YouTube. We want people to be able to watch it. We'll, we'll keep that for me and the privacy of my own bathroom, I think. I always do it in a thong because um, I, I like to do my cheeks because, you know, you never know who's going to be looking at your cheeks. And I always wear black underwear just to be on the safe side. I'm going to get a chair, make it like a striptease. I do avoid doing the knees, put the excess on to the knees because the knees are the area that are just going to go really dark or just not take the tan at all. And the back of my legs, I find that when you've got false tan on, it definitely reduces the appearance of cellulite. And not that there's anything wrong with cellulite, I'm pro cellulite myself, but you know, some of us have cellulite and if you want to go out and feel a bit more confident, it can be nice to conceal it a little bit. Now, I would be careful about getting this on carpets because at the end of the day, it is a coloured tan. It'll rinse out if you go at it with carpet cleaner, but who wants that hassle? Do an extra little squirt for the bums to go. Lower leg. Just avoid your feet until the very end, so like you did your knees, just avoid them. And then at the very end, go over. And then we just gently go across the knees and down onto the feet. So body is complete. And now I'm just gonna do my face. So I've taken off all my makeup, completely cleansed it. And first of all, I'm going to, because it's night time, I'm going to use my Midnight Recovery Concentrate by Kiehl's because that's my night time. I do like to put some moisturiser on before. And yes, I am still wearing my gloves because I'm going to protect the handies. Now, the key to doing your face is to avoid your brows for one because they will just go very dark. So, moisturiser on. And this is what I'm gonna do. So, we've got our tanning mitt. We're not gonna use the tanning mitt on our face. I'm gonna put a little blob on. So we're gonna use the makeup sponge and then just gently go over your face. Now, it's not gonna be as dark as your body, which is exactly what you want. You don't want it. You're probably gonna be wearing makeup, so do not worry about it being a lighter shade. It just gives you that little bit of glow and hopefully with my moisturizer on underneath it won't block my pores but i did it on my face last time and it was completely fine don't put too much on your nose because again i've seen girls who do the fake tan on their face and their noses are just bright orange so got that on and then last but not least the hands you can see they're white right now Again, I'm going to just put on a little bit more moisturiser. Just put a really thick layer on. I've got a makeup removal wipe here ready for action. Again, I'm just going to squirt a little bit on here. We get a foundation brush. Can you use that or a bronzer brush? And then just gently paint your hands. It just means that it's like nice and subtle. There is some tan going on and you can just be a little more, a bit more exact because you don't want the big line down the side because we've got loads of moisturizer on. It should be okay. This is one of my top tips. Hands done. They're not going to be as dark as the rest of you, which is good. And then I like to just go like this. So this is going to get rid of any residual tan that might have snuck on to your hands. I just get it off the wrist as well there. Yeah. And then just between your fingers. It just looks a bit more natural. And then I use this just for round my feet where you don't want it. 
that is it that is my tanning done and as i said i like to sleep in my tan so this is my last top tip is that i'm gonna put this brown flat sheet that is like my tan sheet and i just kind of put it over my bed because obviously white sheets and tan body are not the best combination so i'm just going to spread that on my bed tonight sleep wake up and become a bronzed irish goddess so this is the final result i have been to sleep i've had a shower and this is the final color i have cheated a bit i have makeup on but came out really good on my hands really proud of that uh, my face came out nice and natural for underneath my makeup haven't done the hair yet but this is the finished color and i think it's just a really nice natural color no streaks feet are fine a nice natural glow that was one layer so if you wanted it a little darker i'd advise do another layer maybe an hour or so afterwards or the next day just to kind of top it up but you will not need to correct any streaks because as you can see it's perfect and you can see the color change here I've got a line there from the tan so that was my original white pasty color and that's it guys hope this was helpful hope you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions or queries about this tan or any of the tip bits that I provided and I'll see you next time. Yeah, soup man, I spend my time flying high, going round, but I'm always getting wayside. Some people trying to shit on me. I said, girl, you can sit on me. Cause bitch, they be hating.